Your computer's memory, also called RAM or random access memory, is used to hold the information that the computer is working on. When you power the computer on, it reads all the information needed to start Windows from the hard disk into memory. Once Windows is loaded, the computer loads any programs or files you open from the hard drive into memory. The reason for this is the computer's memory, or RAM, is hundreds of times faster than the computer's hard drive. This allows the computer to perform faster. The more memory your computer has, the more programs and files can be opened at once. For most computers, 8 gigabytes is more than enough. If you plan to do a lot of picture or video editing, you should consider getting 16 gigabytes or more of RAM, since these types of applications take up more memory than typical programs. The 32-bit versions of Windows 7 and Windows 8 can only see 3.5 gigabytes of RAM. For this reason, you will need to install the 64-bit version of Windows. See Lesson 2 of the Computer Setup Lessons for choosing the 64-bit version of Windows. If you are installing more than 16 gigabytes of RAM, you will need to get the Pro version or above of Windows, as Home or Regular versions are limited to 16 gigabytes of RAM. The current standard for RAM is called DDR3. DDR3 is able to run at higher speeds and therefore higher bandwidths, compared to the previous standard, DDR2. We'll go into speed and bandwidth in a moment. Memory comes in the form of a stick that attaches to the computer's motherboard through a memory slot. The memory stick is actually made up of several individual memory chips that, when added up, combine to create the storage capacity of the memory stick. Memory sticks come in capacities of 512 megabytes and 1, 2, 4, or 8 gigabytes. For more on motherboards, see the motherboard component lesson or the installation lessons. The speed of the RAM is also important. The speed of memory is measured in megahertz or MHZ and ranges from 400 megahertz to 2000 megahertz or 2 gigahertz and up. Generally, you should get the fastest RAM the motherboard you choose can handle. Another measurement of RAM speed is called CAS. It's measured in nanoseconds, or NS, and comes in speeds of 7 to 12 for DDR3 RAM. A lower CAS is better. RAM makers raise the CAS of RAM in order to allow faster megahertz ratings. Here's a breakdown of DDR3 RAM, the common names and the speeds they run at. The name refers to the bandwidth the memory has. So PC3 12800 can move 12800 megabytes of data per second. To convert from bandwidth to the speed of RAM, you either multiply or divide by 8. So if you want to find the speed of PC3 12800 RAM, divide by 8 and you get 1600, or 1600 megahertz, which is the actual speed of PC3 12800 DDR3 RAM. To go from speed to bandwidth, you multiply by 8. This is useful to know when you're shopping for RAM and motherboards, since some shops list only speed and other shops list only bandwidth. By multiplying or dividing by 8, you can be sure a motherboard can support the RAM you buy. When you buy RAM for your new computer, we recommend you get two sticks of DDR3 memory at least 4 gigabytes in size, with the same specifications, for a total of 8 gigabytes. Since most motherboards have four available slots to add memory, you'll have two more slots available for adding memory in the future should you need to. The reason for using two sticks of memory is so that you can enable dual channel on the motherboard. Dual channel combines the two sticks of memory to double their bandwidth and increase the speed at which the RAM is accessed. Dual channel support is standard on just about every motherboard made today. The motherboard will detect the matched set of RAM sticks and enable dual channel automatically. See Installation Lesson 2 or your motherboard manual to make sure dual channel is enabled. If you want to add more memory in the future, you can add another set of matched memory sticks to keep dual channel active. Intel Socket 2011 motherboards support quad-channel memory, which quadruples the memory bandwidth and requires four sticks of memory. These motherboards have four to eight RAM slots. 
If the motherboard has 8 slots, you can install 4 RAM sticks and still have 4 more available to add memory in the future and keep quad channel enabled. One more thing about dual and quad channel memory. To make sure the RAM sticks are well matched to each other, it's best to buy kits of RAM that say they support dual or quad channel configurations. This will ensure the RAM is stable and won't cause errors or crashes. If you're planning to try overclocking the RAM, you might also look at the voltage rating of the RAM. Overclocking means running the RAM faster than it's meant to be run to get more performance. The standard voltage for DDR3 RAM is 1.5 volts, and you can find RAM that will run it up to 2 volts. With Core i7s and Core i5s using socket 1150 or 1155, the RAM voltage is limited to 1.6 volts. On Core i3 CPUs, the RAM voltage is limited to 1.5 volts. And on Core i7 CPUs, using socket 2011, the RAM voltage is limited to 1.85 volts. To overclock the RAM, you'll be increasing its speed using settings in the motherboard's BIOS, and upping the voltage of the RAM to keep the system stable and working. See the overclocking video lessons on the website for instructions on how to overclock your RAM. Keep in mind that overclocking the RAM will increase heat, so look for RAM with built-on heat sinks, also called heat spreaders, if you plan to overclock the RAM. When you purchase your computer's memory, look for two 4 GB as a minimum DDR3 sticks in a package to enable dual channel on the motherboard. If the motherboard you're using supports quad channel memory, get a minimum of four 2 GB DDR3 sticks in a package. Get the fastest megahertz memory the motherboard you choose can handle. Buy the lowest CAS RAM you can afford, and look for higher voltage support if you plan to overclock the RAM. In the installation lessons, we'll go over how to install the memory sticks onto the motherboard.